If you are in any need of prayer or advice, make sure you comment or email. God bless you. I believe I was telling you all that God answered my prayer this week. And someone asked me, what did I pray about? And I did not want to say, because I don't want you to measure your faith with what God is doing in my life. So I don't want you to think that, hey, from what God answered in Kevin's life, I know that in this boundary here, I can ask for these things. No, get out of the boundaries. No limitations. I don't want you to have any limits to what you pray for. No limits. So if I told you what I prayed for, then you may measure yourself or set these boundaries of what God is going to answer and what God is not going to answer. Listen, as long as what you are asking for is not sinful, hey, ask for it, whatever. So after I received what I was praying for, these really demonic ungrateful thoughts were coming to my mind pretty much saying to me or formulating in my mind this is not what you prayed for this is worthless this is not the way that it should be why did you even pray for this why did God take so long to get you this like on and on and on, these ungrateful thoughts were coming to my mind. We have to understand that demons don't want you to be operating in God's power. So they are going to try pretty much anything to discourage you to stop or not even attempt, attempt to operate in the supernatural because faith is supernatural. So I was receiving all these demonic, ungrateful thoughts and I had to come against them because those are demons. Listen, when you pray for something, get out of limits. Don't pray for anything sinful, so don't pray for God to kill your mom or dad or your husband or wife. Don't pray for anything sinful. Don't be greedy in what you pray for. Other than those things, unless I am missing anything else, you can pray for anything. Don't set yourself in this atheistic, if that is a word, in this atheist mindset that, not atheist, but don't set yourself in this human boundary mindset that God is only going to answer your prayer within this boundary. No, there is no boundary. You have to understand this. Some people are so prideful. Yes. Let me say this. Some people, I believe, are so prideful that they won't pray to God for their basic needs. And I am thinking, do you believe that what you are doing now, you are doing out of your own power? Well, Kevin, I don't believe that God is going to answer prayers for receiving things or receiving more food and stuff like that. Okay, without God, you would not be able to work. Without God, you would not be able to walk. Without God, you won't be able to speak. Without God, you would not be able to move. So to be my Lord, 
to be in this foolish mindset that you are above asking God for more food or for more of this or that because you believe that you should not ask God for these things. You should be able to do your own thing and get it yourself. You can't get anything unless God allows it. That is pride. To believe that you can live your life separate from God or you can live your life and believe that what you are doing now is out of your own power. That is pride. Whatever you can do now, it is because of God. I don't care how smart you think you are. I don't care how strong you think you are. I don't care how committed you believe that you are. Without God, you would be dead. So every being able to breathe <laughs> is because of God. So how can you make yourself believe that you are independent? <sighs> you believe that you are independent and believe that you are doing what you are doing now without the help of God. Everything we do on this earth, even when I scratch my nose, look, <laughs> I am able to do this because of God. Even to take my hat off my head, I can do that because of God. Even the basic things that we do in life, it is happening because of God. So to think that you are independent and you are so strong and so smart, that is foolish. Sometimes I have to take some people or certain people to the hospital and seeing some people there with amputated legs and they are really sick or their back is all bent over and stuff like that. Seeing that stuff makes you thankful that you are able to do what you can do now. Yes, you may not have a lot of money. Yes, you may not have the things that you believe that you want or need, but be thankful for what God is doing in your life now because I am telling you, Things can be a lot worse or much more worse. So let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.